Hello everyone, welcome to Veranda IAS in the series of lectures of current affairs associated with art and culture. The topic of the discussion today in art and culture's current affair is the first bird festival celebrated in Bihar at Nagi Nakti bird centuries. Nagi Nakti bird centuries are very close to one another, often referred as one century only. So in today's session, the learning objectives of the day are to discuss the Nagi Nakti in news, why this Nagi Nakti bird centuries and the area is in news, to explain the bird festival, what is the relevance of the bird festival and why bird festival is being celebrated. Bird festival is being celebrated because of the importance of the birds. We will list the importance of the birds as well. We will examine Nagi Dam and the Nakti Dam and then we will analyze the avian fauna in Nagi Nakti centuries. Apart from that, we will discuss about some global organizations related to the birds concerning the preservation of birds. We will list some other bird sanctuaries in Bihar as well. See, this is the trend in UPSC, whatever is the topic, all around the topic you have to cover in your current affairs. So other bird sanctuaries of Bihar also we will study. Before we move ahead, bird conservation or we can say environment conservation is a matter in which list out of the three list you have to ponder upon this. Is it a matter of union list, state list or the concurrent list? See, it was a matter of a state list till 1976. What happened in 1976? The mini constitution, the 42nd constitutional amendment act was then operationalized and after that on the recommendation of Sardar Swarn Singh committee, 42nd constitutional amendment act brought a number of changes in the Indian constitution. One such change was the moving of this topic from the state list to the concurrent list. Since 1976, it is under concurrent list. For concurrent list, we all know what is the procedure, both the state and the central governments have the power to make laws. In this respect, we have some authorities related to the conservation of environment, forest and nature in India. That is, first and foremost, by the central government. It is director. It is director. Director of wildlife preservation. Director of Wildlife Preservation appointed by the Central Government. Second comes Chief Wildlife Warden. Chief Wildlife Wardens appointed by the State Governments. And then comes wildlife warden at the level of district. Also, there is power to the state governments to appoint wildlife wardens at the level of the districts. So, these authorities are there for the conservation of nature or we can say for taking care of the environment, forest and the na na nature, nature or natural things. Apart from this, Conservation of resources, natural resources and nature is one of the fundamental duties as well listed under the constitution of India and also it is one of the directive principles of state policies under the constitution of India. This was the background. We will discuss about the Nagi Nakti festival, bird festival. Nagi Nakti in news. Why this is in news? The first state level bird festival it was, that is why it becomes more relevant. It was celebrated in Bihar and the name of the festival was Kalarav. The name of the festival was Kalarav, began recently in the Nagi Nakti bird centuries 
in the Jammui district of Bihar in January 2021, on 15th of January 2021. So the name of the festival is Kalrav, celebrated on Nagi and Nakti bird centuries. It is first state level bird festival. The three day event is anticipated to attract professionals and bird enthusiasts from throughout the country. The experts and the professionals and also the enthusiasts were coming to this area throughout the country from all over the country. This was a three-day event. Question arises, what is the bird festival? Who was the organizer? And then what are the benefits of the bird festival? The Department of Forest and Women and Climate Change is hosting the festival which aims to raise the awareness about the conservation of birds and their habitat and wetlands. See, this festival was organized by the Department of Forest and Women and Climate Change. Now the question arises why this was organized? First, to promote or to aware people about the conservation of birds and their habitat and the wetlands. Wetlands are important, we all know. Ramsar sites of wetlands and everything related to environment that is part of your environment syllabus. We have studied all this. Next comes what are the objectives of organizing this bird festival. Festivals are a great place to examine, try on and buy new things like optics, field clothes, literature, artwork and other wonderful birding and nature related items. So also socially apart from that economically all the festivals and the fairs have some importance. This bird festival is bringing a lot of new things to the field and is boosting the local economy. Most birding festivals have lectures, workshops or presentations meant to educate and improve your bird watching skills. The bird watching skills are improved through these festivals. What is the importance of the birds? Why birds are relevant? Those who understand a bird's behavior can deduce that it is transmitting a signal of eminent natural disaster. First and foremost, birds are carriers. Carriers of what? Of seeds, of pollen material and birds are one of the links for the flowers or plant seeds to be carried from one place to another. We all know this. Apart from that, birds behavior can tell us a number of things. Those people who understand the behavior of the birds can deduce that it is transmitting a signal of eminent natural disaster. Additionally, birds aid in the pollination of plant species. As a result, the forest department established a bird ringing station in Bhagalpur as part of its bird conservation strategy. See, this is important. That is why government of India or government of the or state governments are putting a lot of efforts and finances to promote bird conservation. Not only this, we have international bodies and international organizations as well working for the conservation of birds. Something about Nagi Dam and Nakti Dam. Nagi Dam and Nakti Dam are two bird centuries that are so near together and they might be considered a single bird habitat. During the winter months, the Nagi Nakti bird centuries are home to a varied range of indigenous bird species as well as migratory birds from Eurasia, Central Asia, the Arctic Circle, Russia and the Northern China becomes important from UPSC point of view that not only indigenous bird species but also migratory birds from these areas are seen in Nagi Nakti bird centuries. Avian fauna in Nagi Nakti centuries, some factual information. These centuries have been home to over 136 species of birds and around 1600 bar headed geese have been sighted here which represents nearly 3% of the global population of this type. Bar headed geese was seen at Nagi Nakti bird centuries. Additionally, the Indian courser, Indian sand grues, yellow 
Wattled, lapwing and Indian robin are significant birds. If you see any of these names in the newspapers, then that bird and its IUCN status becomes important for your examination. What is IUCN status? What are the classifications? We will discuss. Something about the associated global organizations. According to a study by Wetlands International, Bird Life International, a global organization has designated the Nagi Dam Bird Century as being internationally significant for bird population protection and has designated it as a important bird location. Important, you can quote this. By the international or global organizations like Wetlands International, Bird Life International, this area of Nagi Dam Bird Century is designated as very relevant area for the conservation and protection of bird population. What is Wetland International? It is a non-governmental organization, important. Can be a question in your prelims. It is a non-governmental organization operating on a worldwide scale committed to the protection and restoration of wetlands, as the name suggests, Wetland International. Then comes Bird Life International. What is it? Again, the name suggests for the conservation of birds, Bird Life International is a global alliance of conservation, non governmental organizations. It is an alliance of the NGOs associated with the conservation of birds, dedicated to conserving birds and their habitats and global biodiversity by collaborating with people to promote sustainable natural resource use. This is what is the work of Bird Life International. Moving ahead, some details about the conservation of migratory species. From 17th to 22nd February in 2020, India hosted COP, Conference of Parties, 13th COP to the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. India hosted 13th COP, so it becomes important. COP to Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals in Gandhinagar, Gujarat was hosted by India. What was the theme? Migratory species connect to the earth and we welcome them home. This was the theme of CMS COP 13, Conservation of Migratory Species COP 13. Then comes CMS COP 13's mascot was Gibby. This is important. What is Gibby? Great Indian Bustard. The Great Indian Bustard was the mascot of COP 13. Great Indian Bustard was also time and again in the news. According to IUCN, it is critically endangered. So its IUCN status becomes important for you all. It is critically endangered species. Great Indian Bustard is critically endangered species that has been given the highest level of protection listed in Schedule 1 under the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. See, this statement tells us a lot and asks us to read a lot. First and foremost, IUCN status. As per IUCN's red list, there are nine categories. Nine categories. From not evaluated to extinct. Ninth one is extinct. There is not evaluated, then there is data deficient, then there is least concern, then critically endangered, vulnerable, nearly threatened, then there is extinct in wild, there is extinct in total, there are nine categories. So whenever you are reading about any wildlife species which is in news, its IUCN status becomes very important from the prelims point of view. Second, Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 has six schedules. Six schedules. Schedule 1 gives highest level of protection to any wildlife species and the uh, species listed in Schedule 1 
are prohibited for hunting, so on and so forth. Sixth schedule categorization is there. So, this great Indian bustard is critically endangered as per IUCN and then it is under schedule 1 of Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. Apart from that, some factual information on the other bird centuries in Bihar. Gautam Buddha bird century is there in Gaya, Bihar. Then comes next Kavar Jheel bird century in Begusarai. Kavar Jheel bird century in Begusarai. Then comes Kusheshwar. Kusheshwar Asthan bird century Darbanga. Kusheshwar Asthan bird century is in Darbanga, Bihar. So this was all for today about Nagi Nakti Dam, Nagi Nakti in News, the bird festival, the importance of birds, Nagi Dam and Nakti Dam and then avian fauna in Nagi Nakti centuries. Then we discussed about the global organizations concerning the birds and then we read about some of the bird centuries in Bihar. This was all for today. I hope you all enjoyed this session. We will continue our discussion from here. We will take up a new topic. Till then, stay tuned. Keep studying. Thank you so much.